Hi everyone, this is May Park. Welcome to another Hero Arts video. Today I'll show you how to create a quick and easy watercolor card using Peerless watercolors. Here I have a panel of white cardstock measured 4 inch by 5 and a half inch and I'll be using alphabet soup board prints and neon ombre ink pad to create a stamp background. Since it's a large background stamp, I'm placing it upside down and ink up the colors from above to make sure to get a good ink coverage. I'm going to move my ink pad up and down so that there are no harsh lines between two colors. I'm going to place my paper over the inked background stamp and press it down with a piece of print paper. Now I have a gorgeous alphabet background in gradient colors. I'll be using the balloon animal birthday stamp set for my focal images. As you can see, I'm using a small plastic container to store my stamps. It helps me find my stamps quickly and prevent from losing them while I'm working. Since I'm going to watercolor my images, I'll be using Hero's black ink which is waterproof. If you don't have a waterproof ink, you can heat emboss your images using clear or white embossing powder after stamping with watermark ink or black pigment ink. I'm stamping the images on a piece of watercolor paper. I usually love to stamp same images two or three times in case I mess up with my coloring. Now it's time for watercoloring. I have a jar of water and round paintbrush size 4 and paper towel ready on my desk. I'm going to use Peerless watercolor seeds. They have such bright and vibrant colors. I made my own watercolor swatch book inspired by Jennifer McGuire. I cut seeds into 2.5 inch by 2 inch and put them inside of each sleeve with some watercolor paper for the color reference. I added a seed of acetate between each sleeve as a color palette. Once I pick up some pigment from watercolor seed, I'm applying the color to my images and adding water to spread the color. I'm not going to color entire images. I just love the white spaces left here and there. Now I'm going to volume up the music and we'll be back when I'm done with coloring. I'll be using the balloon animal birthday frame cuts for die cutting. I'm placing the coordinating dies on my images and secure them with washi tape. Then I'm running them through my cutterbook die cutting machine. I colored more images and die cut them all to make a few more cards while all the supplies are all set on my desk. It's now time to build my card. Here I have mint cardstock measured 4 and a quarter inch by 5 and a half inch. I'm mounting the stamped background panel on the top of mint cardstock and mounting them on the A2 size top folding card using double sided tape. I'm temporarily positioning my die cut images on the card front to figure out where to stamp my sentiment from the many everyday messages stamp set. I'm prepping my paper with anti-static powder 
to prevent any stray powder from sticking to unwanted areas. Then I'm going to stamp the sentiment using Versamark watermark ink. I'm applying the white embossing powder and tap off the excess. Then I'm going to heat set my sentiment with a heat tool. I'm mounting my images on the card front using foam tape to give some dimension. I added my sentiment banner on the card front with a tape runner, and I used the tool ruler for perfect alignment. But I'm not happy with how it looks, so I decided to give some dimension with foam tape. The strings doesn't look good either, so I had to fix them by adding dimension as well. Then I'm using a glue eraser to clean up the mess on my paper. That finishes off my card. I hope you enjoyed watching my video and loved my card. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video very soon. Bye bye!